Hello again, everybody. It's Harry Boxer, Technical Trader at TechTrader.com. It's Tuesday, March 11th. A tough afternoon on Wall Street as many of the stocks that we follow had strong mornings and reversed, and some of them monstrous, monstrously so, meaning that huge dropbacks. If you take a look at Plug, for example, 1172 to 565, roughly. And I mean, that's amazing. But uh, it's the way it goes in the market. Um, We'll need to be watched carefully here because a pullback today with all the speculative stocks pulling back and momentum stocks getting slammed is not a good sign and can often lead to an, an important top. So, we'll, uh, But the downside follow-through is important. And I will show you some shorts tonight, but let's not get panicky just yet. You have your stops in place. You're protected. You should be fine. Take a look at CDTI on the long side. After the pop in January and then the coil developed, it moved out and retested the highs a week and a half ago, pulled back one more time. Today it exploded. From 461 to 739, now it pulled all the way back to 492, but was still up 209 after gapping up from the, the 285 area roughly. So you can see that it was down in this range, exploded all the way up there. So literally from yesterday's close to today's high, it tripled, literally. And on 19.3 million shares, it shouldn't be a surprise it pulled back. However, in looking at the long-term chart, you'll see that an explosive move took place across resistance than a pullback near this high here. What's going to be important is whether there's any follow through on this one and uh, market good or bad. And by the way, you can see today's high was near that prior spike high here in um, 2011. And the secondary spike high is 1120. Not that it's going to 1120, but um, once they get a hold of these stocks, you never know what they, they can do with them. Plug being a perfect example. But with a big volume breakaway gap today across the trading range and out of a base, maybe an important day for it. Keep an eye on the low today of 427 as potential support. I don't expect that to go below that. At least if it does, it's a signal to exit. LJPC on some strong drug news exploded from um, 10 and change up to over 19 and after 19 and a half before backing off, still up 706 or 65%. And again, another significant breakaway gap on 8.3 million shares never heard of before. La Jolla Pharmaceuticals have uh, been consolidating coiling for like the last five months. Today was a big, big breakout. If you look at the long term chart, you'll see it's the biggest move since early 2012 as a weekly. And so one would logically dictate that the stock could be a $25, $30 stock. But worth watching. We'll see what happens in the next day or two, particularly if the market pulls back. Northwest Bio with a big pop this morning, and also a big um, move in the, in the in the first few hours. But again, another re reversal. The stock went up to 1064, close 918. It was still up a dollar 33 or 17 percent on 8.4 million record volume. But um, with the bull pullback, we have to watch to see what kind of follow through it would be tomorrow. Note that the, the rising tops line at the top of the channel was blown through. And it's closed right on it. So interesting to see whether we hold support in the eight and a quarter, eight and a half zone tomorrow morning and whether or not this makes a comeback or not. OPTT with a big pop right to our swing trade target at six and a half, got up to seven. I think it was six and a half, three quarters. It's 701, pulled way back to 545, still up 90 cents or about 20%. Volume was a strong 12.4 million, the best volume in four weeks, breaking it out of the consolidation zone flag and then one fell swoop getting right up to my target so if you took that profit at the target there congratulations at this point though we're looking at the longer term chart it's a nice base breakout pullback breakout again consolidate and keep going so i'm going to be looking to see if optt has any long-term potential but now the declining tops line and a couple lateral resistance levels taken out notice the highs back here in 2010 when it reached 685 um, uh, in that zone. Today's high, 701. So we've made a little bit of a higher high, but pull back. That 685.7 zone now is key, key resistance. But if it gets through, next target conceivably in the 1011 zone. Nice chart. SNMX doing very well in a lousy market, a good sign of relative strength. Gapped up uh, at 11 and went to 12 and 3 quarters before pulling back to 1103 up 162. 17% plus gain. 4.6 million all-time record volume, I believe. Pretty close. <clears throat> and there's a key overhead resistance level right here that we're testing, and it backed off of that area. One of the reasons why it may have backed off is simply the lateral resistance. But the key was a breakout of the coil. 
the dramatic pickup on volume. And let's see if there's a follow through to the upside or pulls back and fills the gap. SZYM Soul Design made a key technical move today. Here's a major base going back to 2011. And it popped up to resistance. My next target would be a run at this high here around 16 plus. And then we'll see if we can make it up in the uh, much higher levels if it gets to. But this is a long base that can support a pretty big move. Stay tuned. This could be an interesting uh, stock to watch over the next few weeks. Up 92 cents or 7% today on 2.3 million. Techmira continues to really impress. This is a strong little biotech stock, and today up another dollar twenty to almost thirty-one. It closed twenty thirty ninety-four, not too far off the high, and it was up four percent on three quarters of a million decent volume. But it is near the top of the channel. It could be vulnerable to a pullback to retest the mid-channel support and the lateral price support around twenty-five fifty, and then we'll see what what it does if it does that. And lastly, on the long side is ZBB, which I know pulled way back. But it was one of the few fuel cell stocks or fuel cell related stocks that held on to some of its gains. It was up 22% today, even though it closed substantially off a high of 475 to finish at 324 59 cents and a solid 16.7 million. With this breakout, and even though the pullback occurred, it still held prior high at 289. Let's call that support around 290. And again, we've got enough to see follow through. Today, a lot of stocks that pop need follow through. If they don't get them, we don't enter them or we quickly exit them if we have entered them. Let's take a look at some box of shorts. Starting with Barrett Business Services. It broke down hard here and it bounced and it's rolling over again. Looking at the longer term chart, major trend channel broken, price support tested, and the rollover, the move up to the resistance for a week and a half, two weeks, finally rolling over. Lost 284 at 4% today. I'm looking for a test of the lows down in here, around 60. And then beyond that, if it falls apart, we can see that in the mid 50s and if not low 50s down here. GameStop still is short. I gave it to you in here. It dropped, or maybe it was in here, but it dropped sharply. Bear wedge again, dropped again. One, two, three wave corrective move, kind of five wave actually. It looks like it could roll over here. It was only down two cents today, but. Again, the, the stop on it would be above 40. And if it rolls over, right, we can see a, a move back into the low 30s. HOS has been in a bearish trend all year, at least since uh, October when it rolled over. Bear flag, bear flag, bear wedge, another rising wedge, another big one. And today it spiked out of that wedge and very well may, and near the top of that channel, very well may come down, test the lows, if not take them out down there. Next stop, 38 and a half. If it breaks that, looking for low 30s. IGT, International Gaming Technology, broke a head and shoulders top. A two-month consolidation, breakaway gap to the downside. And now a rising bear wedge, or bear flag, I should say. You can see the last couple of days have turned red. Maybe it's in reversal mode. Uh, if it does come down, bottom of the channel near the 13, 14 range. Uh, let's call it 13. 13 and a quarter is my next target. NSM also in a bear phase. Broke down with a big breakaway gap, formed a bear flag, came down hard, and then another bear flag. So with wave one, two, three, and four, conceivably we can see a fourth and fifth wave down here into the low 20s. NSR New Star broke hard, formed a bear wedge, rolled over it. Big breakaway gap to the downside. Wave one, two, three, and four. We should have a fifth wave down towards 30 coming up. TAL broke its top from the bear flag, and today dropped another dollar 41, which broke that flag. We may be headed for a test of 38 and a half. TGI, a very ugly this year. A massive head and shoulders top. The breakdown here, and a big bear wedge is forming. If that breaks, we can see it roll over. And get into the mid 50s. Vox, bear flag as well after cracking, bear wedging, and dropping to support. It's trying to move up, but it's formed a down channel and it's about to break perhaps. We'll see. My target, a test of 12, and then all the way down to 10. And, let, and then XONE, part of that 3D group that's fallen apart. You can see how this 
big drop in a one, two, three, four, five wave decline resulted in a one, two, three, four, five wave um, corrective rising wedge, and now rolling over. Look for a test of the lows at around 37, seven and a half, and then beyond that, we could see a much more substantial decline if it breaks key support. And lastly is yin. Now yin is the <clears throat> China triple bull. And that is going down because the Chinese markets are dropping. it. <clears throat> and you can see how it broke the head and shoulders top. This has been on our list for weeks now. We had a one, two, three, four, five wave decline, then a much bigger rally, forming this sort of wedge. And that broke down today, dropping a dollar two or almost five percent. You can see it's retesting the recent lows about three weeks ago, 19 and a half. And if it breaks that, could very well see this all the way back down towards the 12, 13 zone, which would be an ultimate target. Let's call it 15 now, my short term target. And that's it tonight, both long and short. Treacherous market out there. Everyone be very careful. Maintain your stops. You get taken out, you're taken out. That's part of the game. Good night, everybody.